Hey, welcome to Taking Trades. If we haven't met, my name is Jimmy, and this is my YouTube channel dedicated to day trading, where I show live trades, I show entry points, I show exit points, and I do all this for free, not charging any subscription fees and not selling any courses, so welcome. Today's January 28th, 2019, it's Monday. I'm green today, took two trades on UGAS, I wanna show those to you today. And I also did something interesting. I took my first swing trade ever. So I'm a little nervous about that. Um, I can't decide if I should reveal that now or if I should hold it for a couple of days and tell you guys about it then or hold it for a week. I don't know. Comment below. Should I, should I show it today or tomorrow? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys want and um, I will reveal it. I saw something interesting on it and that's what made me decide to go ahead and, and take a position on it. Holding it overnight makes me a little anxious, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see that or not. But anyway, two trades today, one green, one red, ended up green on the day, let's jump in. Jump in this. <clears throat> so, first I'm gonna flip over and I'm gonna show you how natural gas is looking right now. So this morning when I got up, I was checking things out and it looked like, you know, we've got this nice channel that was happening with forward slash NG, which is a natural gas fund. And then what happened is we got this gigantic gap down, this big slam down. So from there, and this is on the 27th, so this is, um, this is the advantage of having futures to be able to look at is they are creating price action when UGAS and DGAS are, are closed and not moving. So you can kind of see we've got this massive gap down. Everybody got excited this weekend talking about is this going to go up, is this going to go down, is it going to hold? And as you can see, in, on the four-hour chart, it sort of pumped up and now it's pushing back down. And so if I go into the one minute chart and zoom out a little bit, you can see that starting off this morning here around market open, we were just trading nice between the uh, 180 day simple moving average, the SMA line, and the middle band of the VWAP. We were just trading back and forth between it kind of all nice and, and simple. Then we topped out here, and then we started pushing down. So we had a little trend uh, switch in the middle of the day. But I was watching things as we were trending up, and so I started watching you, Gaz. And I went ahead and turned on my, my um, trades to kind of show you those. I had a comment from someone in the um, comment section on Friday, or maybe it was Thursday, talking about turning these on so you can kind of see my exact entry and exit point. So I'm going to try that out today. Uh, I'm not going to show the, the video of them. I'm just going to show you the entries and see if that's a little cleaner and easier to watch. But um, so what I saw here was we opened up. So once we got through the pre-market action, we opened up and we had a low point. We had a high point, a low point, a high point low point, high, low, we're bouncing around. And sort of the trend was that we were coming back to this middle band of the VWAP and then pushing back up to the top band. Pulling back down and then pushing back up. So what I decided to do was looking in this area, and I'll actually draw it for you just so you can kind of see what I was doing. I like to take this rec rectangle tool and I like to go ahead and look for sort of that lowest point. So I would grab probably like that and extend this out. Sort of like that. So I was looking at this. I had seen that this went and was involved here, came back, had touches through here, pulled away, came back, touched again, went to the top of the VWAP, pulled back down, we got another touch, and this is where I went in. I entered on this candle right here at 40.06, and then my idea was then to take it back to the top of the VWAP. So if I were to look at that 
in percentage wise, if I entered around here and I wanted to take it up here, you can see that's 2.35%. So a pretty decent or 95 cents. Pretty decent reward for being able to put a stop right below here. So I stopped myself pretty close. Didn't, you know, stopped right underneath this, this rectangular white box, which is which I consider kind of my my support range where any bounces in here are acceptable. If we break below it, I start to question it and we'll probably stop out. So I got in at 4006 and I went ahead and held it and I got a pop and I didn't sell. I was putting my limit sell above, hoping to get closer to the dollar, but then we broke down below this 15 day moving average and that made me nervous. I didn't want to ride it back down to the entry point. So I went ahead and cut the trade. I think I took a $25 winner. So I was happy with it. I was still green. Things were good. And then I just kept watching the price action. And I was a little bummed when I saw this. It pops up nice and high in excess of 41 a share. So that would have been a really nice winner if I would have held that. So anyway, it pulls back down. And you can kind of see that we got another touch. If I go ahead and grab my tool back. And let me see if I can sort of replicate this guy again. So if I extend my square, my rectangle way out here like that, so not great, but um, a full extension here. We got another touch here, and we got this touch down in here. So I went ahead and entered at 39.95 right here on this candle and I was hoping for a push back to the top of the VWAP bands and I got a slight push up I was stopped pretty tight I think my my risk was 15 cents which I was really comfortable with given that I was looking at possibly 95 cents of range and then it immediately turned around and got this powerful volume spike and immediately stopped me out so that was my quick loser I think I lost 12 bucks on it and ended up the day with just a small $13 uh, green day today. But that was really it, and I just didn't feel like I was getting a, a good idea for what natural gas was wanting to do, especially when it got up here and then started trending back down and chopping right in here. I just didn't know what it wanted to do. It peaked again, and then it pushed down. And I thought, okay, maybe we're changing direction. If it comes back to this trend line, maybe I'll take uh, an entry on the inverse ETF uh, degas, we'll see what happens. And then it went ahead and just started selling off. And it just seemed like it got really, really volatile and really weird, and I couldn't read it quite right. So I just left it alone. And in the meantime, I found that swing trade. So I'm not going to show the swing trade today. Tune in tomorrow. I think I'll show it, but comment. Let me know if you want to see it tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to let it play out tonight and, and go from there. But I saw a nice... Uh, resistance area where I could take a short position. So it is a short sell that I got involved with for, um, for a swing trade. So anyway, thank you for stopping by guys. I want to hear what you traded today. I want to hear if you're green, if you're red. Ask me any questions if you have them. And like always, please hit that thumbs up. And if you're not a member of the channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much and we'll see you tomorrow.